This is 100% Italian leather. Well, at least that's what their Amazon page says. It's a simple folio style case, and what I can tell you is that it does look and feel like the real deal. It also scratches like one. So, let's check it out. This case is all about the outside, its look and feel. According to Casemade, this is 100% Italian cowhide. Basically, it's the good shit. Clean stitching and a thick skin, if premium had a feel, it'd be this. Because that's mostly all this case offers, which may be all you're looking for. There's a stiff polycarbonate case on the inside and suede lining throughout the interior. To install, go on volume side first and simply snap the opposite corners in place. Spacious cutouts for the volume button and mics on the side, a long cutout throughout the top for the power button, speakers, and enough room for most headphone jacks. Cutout for the rear mic and the camera cutout fits both the first and second gen 12.9 iPad Pros, with it being raised enough to keep it off surfaces as well. There's a long cutout along the bottom too, plenty of room to fit most lighting cables and keep the speakers clear. And finally, the front flap which will automatically turn the screen on and off for those forgetful ones out there like myself. There is one odd cutout in the case though, there's a tiny smart connector cutout which seems completely useless as it's surrounded by the case, and you wouldn't actually be able to connect any accessories anyways. So, yeah. Lastly, it unfortunately doesn't include a pencil holder, which is a bummer, although you can try and store it in the spine of the case. It will, however, cause the cover to not completely close on the iPad. Although the leather has a weighted feel to it, the case doesn't bulk up the iPad too much, maintaining a clean and slim profile when closed. My one gripe, though, is the front cover is too heavy for itself and flaps around and doesn't stay closed. And alongside that, the thicker leather does come at a price, in dollars, but also pounds, in total almost doubling the weight of the iPad itself at about 1.2 kilograms. It's not a huge issue since it's pretty lightweight in the grand scheme of things, but you will notice it if you're hand holding this to show off all day. The one knickknack paddy whack feature it does have is the front cover converting into a stand. The crease on the front allows for it to fold behind the case and lock into the leather notch by friction. This allows for a high viewing angle for videos, reading, Skype or FaceTiming, so long as you don't go finger happy and tapping too hard as it doesn't do a great job keeping its balance against wobbling. I also found it to be a great working angle with an external keyboard. Board, but if you don't carry an external keyboard with you, you can always lay it on its lower angle, giving you a comfortable angle to touch type or draw with the Apple Pencil, as it can handle any level of force pretty well that's thrown at it. My only concern is the leather flap around back, which is constantly under pressure. It may loose up over time and stick out or not hold the cover in place properly, but that is something you don't have to worry about for quite a while. In the end, it's all about this, the leather that I just can't describe to you unless you feel it up yourself. I've seen a few comments about the leather scratching easily, well, duh. Leather is a natural material that will get dirty and scratched, and that's exactly why you want leather. It grows character and becomes a one of a kind for you as you use it. You don't get that kind of personalization with a rubber case. If you're really not a fan of the scratching though, but still want the leather option, they also have a black model, which I have here for the 10.5 inch that doesn't scratch, or at least doesn't show any scratching, but I'm personally all about the classic brown. Now in terms of protection, this isn't designed to be a tough case, but with the extended leather edges and the front cover offering 360 degrees of coverage, you'll be fine throwing this onto a table, but I wouldn't put my money on it for covering you for high impact drops. It's designed to look good and it definitely does that well. If you have that 24-7 Butterfingers, you may want to consider something tougher like from OtterBox. They are available for all the iPad Pro models including the 9.7, 10.5, and both the 12.9 models. They are a little on the pricier side, but at least you're getting the good stuff. A simple folio case with the stand built in, you won't be getting all the frazzle dazzle features from other cases, but you will look hella sophisticated with this case. I want to give a huge shout out to Casemade for sponsoring the cases and review. It's a huge support for what I do on this channel, but I got complete creative freedom and all opinions expressed are from my own brain. That's it. If you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, check out my store linked below for accessorized merchandise like this shirt and hat, along with a bunch of old accessories I no longer use and you can pick up at a bargain price. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my case. Oi. Ooh.